So finally here we are talking about the pH scale and the pH scale is how we talk about how acidic or basic a solution is and as we've mentioned before it's always proportional to the H3O plus concentration in solution. Hopefully you've seen the pH scale before and you have a little bit of an understanding of it. So we essentially use the pH scale as a convenient measure. It's just a scale like many other things that chemists have created um, and it does represent the relative acidity of compounds. <clears throat> it's not um, counting specifically, it's an artificial scale that has been created to be able to distinguish between acid neutral and basic or alkaline solutions. With the pH down at zero being our increasing acidity, so the lower it is the more acidic it is, and then a pH up of 14 being a um, more alkaline solution or um, basic solution. Essentially the how acidic or basic a solution is is dependent on the concentration of H3O plus and that's even for a base okay so the pH is only ever dependent on the concentration of this H3O plus or the hydronium ion in solution um, and it can vary widely so in a battery which a uh, car battery so sulfuric acid mostly it is 10, uh, 10 to the uh, 0.9 mole okay um, per decimeter cubed where in water it's 10 to the negative 7 moles per decimeter cubed and in oven cleaner which is highly caustic it's 10 to the negative 13.5 moles per decimeter cubed so just looking at the relative pH and this is mapped against um, a universal indicator color scale um, we have our dilute hydrochloric acid is in our zero to two range. Uh, lemon juice is just in that um, higher range of 2.5 to 3. Um, orange juice and vinegar, so looking at ethanoic acid and citric acid. Milk, then uh, water or water and salt solution and blood are all up here in the 6 to 8, so very neutral kind of region. And then we've got lime water, which we do our um, test for CO2 in, and then bleach and oven cleaner so these are our sodium hydroxides and potassium hydroxides up here. So essentially we're back to this idea of it being relative. So at pH we can say the concentration of H plus is equal to the concentration of OH minus. If we tip that balance increasing the amount of H plus then we get a acidic solution. If we increase the amount of OH minus which is essentially decreasing the amount of H plus making this box smaller then we end up with a base and it's what the pH scale does is they measure these concentrations relative uh, to each other and what we look at is a times 10 difference in the H3O plus concentration for each point so each point along the scale from 0 up to 14 each time we go up by one it's a times 10 difference in concentration in this case from zero to one would be um, less concentrated by uh, times 10 so if I started at seven and went to six this would be times 10 more concentrated and then far, uh, all the way down four three two one each jump is times 10 so if I was to say jump from 7 to 4 I'm going to jump from 7 to 6 5 4 that's three jumps so that would be times 10 to the 3 more uh, concentrated which would be a thousand times more concentrated because of the three jumps because of that our pH scale is actually a log scale it's related to that uh, times 10 logarithm um, so we have the pH, this is our formula that you need to know for the concentration uh, for working out the pH and as you can see the pH is equal to the negative log to base 10 so this is just your log button on your calculator um, times the concentration, the square brackets being the moles per decimeter cubed concentration of H3O plus um, and that's always in moles per decimeter cubed. 
um, you have to use the H3O plus concentration. We can't use this calculation, uh, this formula, to find pH if it's not the H3O plus concentration. So if you take the exponent of the H3O plus concentration and remove the negative sign, you have the pH of the solution, which is to say that the concentration of H3, whoops, sorry, this is being a pain again. If you take the concentration of H3O plus is going to be equal to 1 times 10 oh, this isn't writing properly today sorry 1 times 10 to the negative pH is the other one that we can look at so essentially that's just rearranging the log equation so we have the pH is equal to negative log to base 10 of the H3O plus but if we want to find the H3O plus con concentration we can use this 1 times 10 to the negative pH um, so as we said before the pH unit represents a tenfold change in H plus concentration um, so a pH 2 is 10 times more acidic than that of a pH 3. And if we look at the next slide, we can see how that changes. So for a pH of 0, it's 1 times 10 to the 0, uh, 1 times 10 to the negative 1. Each time we go up, we're changing this by 10 to the negative 1. So 1, 0 0.1, 0 0.01, all the way up. And each jump along the way is a times 10 difference in concentration. So if we had to graph the pH scale, um, essentially we can look at um, the ion concentration. So as the, when the pH is very low, we have a high ion concentration. And then as the pH gets higher, the concentration of H3O plus decreases. If we do the same for OH minus, we can see that this point here, they intersect and that's our neutralization point where we would have um, the pH equal to um, let's at this stage for a strong acid and strong base say that the pH would be equal to zero so this is essentially our uh, sorry not zero seven but we have neither OH minus or H3O plus in um, excess so that's really it for the pH scale just remembering our um, formula which is the pH is equal to the negative um, log 10 of the concentration of H3O plus and the rearranged form of that. Um, we will use those uh, formulas in some calculations in the next video.